Okay, the big day has arrived. I've been waiting for this for a few weeks. I decided to spend a little bit of money and buy the Real Sim Gear Cirrus package. So we're here to unbox it. And when I was doing the research on this, I didn't see a lot of content or materials available. So I thought I would uh, just not only unbox it, but get it set up and, and then give it a try and share this experience with you all. Let's get this open here. Debated quite a while. I'm, I'm buying this and I recently started my IFR train uh, to add to my private private license and I'm doing that training with the uh, with a Cirrus SR20. You know, at the end of the day, what I'm really trying to get proficient at on the sim is my comfort in flying approaches and. and in flying IFR, started working with Pilot Edge app that they have, and that's uh, really creates a whole level of realism that you don't get out of the just the Microsoft Flight Simulator on its own. I was really struggling trying to fumble with the interface and with using my mouse or the, using the keyboard. Really hoping this is uh, gonna bring in that level of realism that I want in my my training. Okay. Okay, looks like a little bit of assembly. Looks like the bottom piece is, is all connected here. Okay, yeah. So that's the, the main unit. You got all the cables really nicely cabled here. See, you've got a number of cables all bundled up nicely. You got uh, two sets coming out the the top side, so I guess these will go in, some of these will probably all go into the uh, panels. You have some nice, beautiful switches all up on top here. Really uh, feels high quality. You got a panel, brightness, that's awesome. Really nice quality stuff here. Really heavy duty. No sharp edges. This is for this, the key, starting the engine. You got the fuel pump, fuel boost, pump it. You got the three off, the prime, and then the boost. You got the uh, left and right tank switch, and you got flaps. And they even, if you see there, they even put in the uh, flap speeds 119 50% 104 100% and you got some nice LEDs here that would probably be really cool when it gets hooked up here and then we take a look at the panel itself so here you got the heading the course the altitude select yeah direct a flight plan clear menu the everything you need to access and work but just like the real thing here and then your autopilot. And then I believe there's a way I can mount my throttle, my standard SciTech uh, throttle piece here. Now let's take a look at these cables. So you got a power cable coming out. This is a, a USB on the one side and this is your HDMI. So that's for the one panel, I guess. And then this is for the opposite, the other. So you got your primary flight display and your multifunction display there so those will feed into the two displays okay so now we got the the main body of the unit here on the desk I've got the boxes here that I'm gonna start unpacking so we'll start with this small one first that's all the cables and uh, like we got a power supply, the back of the unit to, to the PC. This is a power cable, of course, and the power brick itself. So that will also go to the back. This is a, a light box here, so the checklist. This is all your comms. So this is what we're looking at here. Okay, we got another box. This would be one of the displays themselves. Okay, we got some more, another checklist here. 
Wow, look at that. Ooh, man. That looks good. Looks really nice. Look at that. This is where the, the bucks are spent. Very light. Lighter than I thought. It's got a nice film, which I'll be able to pull off when I'm finished. But yeah, that's uh, some quality stuff here. Ooh, nice good clicks. Nice feel to it. Altitude select, both the outside and the internal. You can hear that. It's nice good solid stuff. Let's see the back here. So you're going to have the fan and yeah, the cable coming out of there, which I guess you I'm going to use that a connector for that. Maybe. There's your power, HDMI, and then USB. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is installing this into one of these brackets. This is a really heavy duty again. Desktop stand for a real sim gear. Obviously, this is going to be in, incorporated into the whole Sarah's package. So it's just going to mount like this. And then we've got the other display. So these will just mount right inside here, just like that. As you can see, very nice and slim. That's just going to mount right in like that. Yeah, like I said, a little tight there. It'll work fine. It's not going to get all, once it's installed, it's not going to be moved around at all. So very carefully. It's got nice rubber feet that the whole thing sits on. Let's see, it just butts up really nice with this. Puts everything flush. You can take these out. Really, if you're just looking at everything, what you really need to get that realism, I'm I'm expecting this will be more than enough. Okay, so. Yeah, so these will just come right through here. Perfect, they line up nicely. And then, this one I can mount over here. And let's do the same for this. Now this one's going to be at an angle. That looks about right. Okay, so it's coming together. I just have to plug it in. Got the unit here, as you can see. Really nice uh, look. This is really nice, good quality. Good clicks to them. So here's a overall picture of my completed sim with I do have one more piece waiting and that's the throttle unit that will come here. We've got my rudder pedals there. We've got the Cirrus uh, desktop console from Real Sim Gear. I installed the keyboard 
tray here, but then it ended up actually being a perfect height and, and position for the joystick. So I actually put my joystick there, still keep the mouse there. Don't really have a good place yet to put the keyboard. I put it up on the side there. I've got my iPad here with the uh, four flight that I can uh, also link to Microsoft Flight Simulator and that gives me a nice um, view of my pet flight path in addition to what's in the uh, G1000. And then this uh, Samsung, wonderful widescreen Samsung desktop uh, monitor here. So all in all, I'm really happy with uh, how everything turned out. I